Hi guys, it's Sheena here, and today I'm going to guide you through a 20-minute yoga flow to reduce stress and anxiety. So this is a great flow to do maybe at the end of a long day, if you feel like you have some tension to relieve, or just if there's a lot going on in your life at the moment. Before we go ahead and get started, if you do have blocks at home, go ahead and get them handy, and other than that, let's go ahead and get started. So if you have blocks at home, we're gonna go ahead and grab one. We're gonna use this to elevate our seat. So you can go ahead and place that block directly under your bum here. And it's just gonna help to elevate and keep that spine nice and lifted. You can also sit on your heels if that feels better for you. From here, let's bring the hands to the knees. We're gonna go ahead and roll those shoulders back and gently begin to close the eyes. We're gonna come straight into an ujjayi breath practice. So inhaling and exhaling through the nose and making your breath audible here, making sure you can hear it. So let's inhale nice and smoothly. Exhale out through the nose. Good guys, and we're gonna do this about 10 times, inhale. Exhale, release the shoulders down. Keep breathing like this on your own. It's okay if your pace doesn't match mine. And begin to just observe the body. Where are you holding tension here? Where can you release? And after you've done a quick body scan, we'll come to pay attention now to the breath. Can you make your breath really long and smooth here? Envisioning the air traveling into the low belly and up through the chest on the inhales. On the exhale, envision a big L shape. The air travels down, out, and away from you. We'll take about three more breaths just like this. Before we add any movement, the breath is the foundation of our practice today. Last one here. Go ahead and sit up nice and tall. We're gonna stay with this nice spacious breath. Gently remove the block from underneath you if you're using it. And we're gonna come back to this at the end of our practice. From our seat, we're gonna make our way to a tabletop position, all fours. So go ahead and stack your hands underneath your shoulders and then flip to the tops of the feet behind you. On your inhale, drop your belly for cow pose, gaze up towards the ceiling. Exhale to round your spine and curl your chin to your chest. We're gonna inhale straight back to child's pose. Bring those hips back to the heels as you reach the arms out long. And then the exhale is gonna bring us back to tabletop. So that's our whole flow here. We're gonna do that four more times. Inhale to cow pose, drop the belly. Exhale to round, really begin to exaggerate these movements, maybe coming up onto the fingertips in cat pose. Inhale to drive the hips back, reach, reach, reach. Exhale to all fours. Good, guys, moving intuitively here on your own. Really matching breath to movement. Nice long breaths here and maybe adding any other small movements that feel good for you. Really make this your own. What does your body need today? Mm -hmm. 
Inhale back to your child's pose. And this time we're gonna stay in child's pose. So we're gonna hold child's pose for five breaths. Go ahead and use the exhales here to keep relaxing the body down towards the ground. You can bring your forehead down to the mat. If it doesn't reach, that's okay. Keep the breath long and flowing. Really think about filling up the low belly on the thighs. If you'd like a little more here, you can use these last two breaths to come up onto the fingertips, tenting up, really breathing into the ribs, the back body. Last breath here. Good, y'all. On your next inhale, we'll gently roll back to tabletop all fours. And from here, we're gonna tuck the toes and take it straight to downward dog. On your next inhale, look past your hands and ever so gently, we'll walk to a standing forward fold. We're gonna hang out over the legs here, guys, for three full breaths. So take any variation you'd like with your hands. My favorite is interlacing the fingers behind the back. It's gonna really help to encourage that whole upper body to hang heavy. Keep breathing here, bringing the fingertips up towards the sky. If your fingertips are clasped, go ahead and bring them back down in front of you. Take a big inhale, we're gonna come up for a halfway lift. Lengthen the back and go ahead and bring that booty all the way back, back, back. Exhale to fold down. We're gonna take that twice more. Inhale for a big halfway lift. You're making this big L shape with your body. Exhale to fold. Last time here, inhale, lift. Exhale, fold down. Good, y'all, stay nice and low. We're gonna step to a wide-legged forward fold. We keep a slight bend in your knees here. We wanna stay a little bit springy in that low body. The heels are directly behind the toes. We're gonna inhale here for a halfway lift, bringing the hands up to the knees, and we're gonna exhale to fold down towards the ground. Really think about bringing the crown of the head down. Gravity is gonna do its job here. And once you're down here, you can kind of shift the weight back and forth between the balls and the heels of the feet. Keep breathing. One last breath. Keep that left hand planted. We're gonna inhale the right arm high to the sky, opening up to the right side. Exhale that right hand down. Good, keep the right palm down. Inhale the left arm high. Exhale the left hand down. Stay nice and low here. Gently crawl your fingertips up to frame the right foot and we'll come back to that standing forward fold. Good, and this time maybe taking a different variation, bringing hands behind the head and swaying side to side, just a gentle sway. Remember to keep that bend in the knees. From here, we're gonna go ahead and release the hands down and we're gonna step it back to a downward dog. From down dog, we'll inhale the right leg high and we're gonna exhale to a modified lizard pose. So bring that right foot outside the right hand and from here, we're gently gonna lower that left knee down. We're taking three breaths in lizard pose. Think about lifting the chest here as you encourage that right hip flexor to open up, sending breath into the right leg. Maybe coming onto the knife edge of the right foot here. 
Maybe making little circles with the hips. Last big breath. Good guys, and from here, nice and slowly, we're gonna transition to a half pigeon. So we're gonna heel toe that right foot into the left side of the mat. And then elongate that left leg long, long, long behind you as you flip to the top of the foot. Bring the hands below the shoulders. Inhale to lift the chest. Exhale to fold over the right leg with a flat back, making our way into a sleeping pigeon. You don't have to go too far here. Honor your body's limits today. Maybe you come down onto the forearms. Maybe you come all the way down. Really try and relax into the whole body here, especially the shoulders as we tend to hold tension in the shoulders in our half pigeon. Let's take two more big breaths here. Take a big inhale, nice and slow. Gently come back up onto the hands. We'll tuck the left toes behind us and we'll go straight back to our downward dog. You can pedal out the right leg here if that feels good. Then we'll make our way to the other side. Inhale the left leg long. Exhale to step it outside the left hand lizard pose. Gently bring that right knee down. You can also maneuver onto the right shin here if you have any knee pain. Let's take three spacious breaths. Maybe making some circles with the hips. Remembering to keep that chest lifted. Imagine a string pulling that left knee down towards the ground. Last breath here. Great job, y'all. Let's slowly transition to our half pigeon on the left side. Hip stretches can be quite intense. We'll go ahead and bring the hands underneath the shoulders here. Take a big inhale. And we'll exhale to gently fold. And keeping in mind here that usually we're tighter on one side of the body. So maybe what worked on the other side doesn't work here necessarily. Really using the breath to surrender down to the ground here. Or towards the ground, it's okay if you don't reach. One last big breath. Your next inhale, gently come back up onto the hands, lifting the chest. And we'll tuck the right toes and step it back to our final downward dog. Once again, maybe pedaling out that left leg, maybe pedaling out the right leg as well. And from here, we're gently gonna lower down onto the knees. From our knees, we're gonna make our way to a seat. And from a nice tall seat, we're gently gonna lower down onto the back. From the back, we're gonna come into a happy baby. So go ahead and bring the knees into the chest, maybe giving yourself a quick little hug here. And then we're gonna bring the arms in between the legs, using the elbows to push away the knees. Grabbing insides or outsides of the feet. When you're here, can you relax your shoulders down? Or maybe you hold this posture. Or maybe you do a little sway side to side. Maybe you straighten into one leg and then the other. Let's take one more big breath, really thinking about opening those hips down towards the ground. Good, y'all, and let's bring those knees back into center. 
And we're getting ready to lay down now. So if you do have your blocks, we're going to come back to them. And we're going to set up for what's called a supported fish pose. So go ahead and take one block. And the shorter height, we're going to put it at the base of our sacrum. The second block is going to go in between the shoulder blades. So that place where the shoulder blades kiss is where you want this block to be. Now you may have to kind of maneuver around to find that sweet spot, but you'll find that when you do find the spot, this block is going to encourage the shoulders to roll out and open. It's almost like you're puffing your chest out. The legs can stay extended or the soles of the feet can come down to the ground with the knees pointing up. If you take this position, go ahead and bring the knees to touch and that's going to take the tension out of the legs here and just help them relax. Now we're just going to hold this posture for a few deep breaths. A couple things I'd like you to focus on in our supported fish is how the lengthening of the chest here encourages those deep belly breaths. And we spend so much time slumped over our computers or driving, so this should feel really, really good on your upper back. Keep that breath long and flowing here. Taking about five more breaths. Y'all complete your exhale here. Ever so slowly, we're going to remove those blocks. Start with the sacrum. And then gently just lift the head, the neck up to release the one from underneath your head. And now we're making our way to our final posture. Shavasana. What I'd like for you to observe is is there any energetic shift in the body from that supported lying down posture to now simply lying flat on the ground? And we'll take these next few moments and these breaths to honor that energetic shift and sit with the breath. If you have the time for it, I would recommend staying in Shavasana anywhere from five to 10 minutes today. Letting the benefits of our practice really sink into the body, the mind. But if you're resting with me, we can slowly begin to wake up the body, finding gentle movements, rolling the ankles, the wrists, gently rocking the neck from side to side. From here, we'll slowly make our way to a fetal position, just waking up nice and slow, 
Maybe using your arm as a pillow for your head. This incredibly grounding posture, fetal position, reminds us that the ground has us always. Whenever you're ready, we'll gently push up back to that comfortable seat. And feel free to close out our practice here, sitting on a block once more or coming back to traditional cross-legged. Let's roll the shoulders back and take a big cleansing breath here. And inhale through the nose. Hold at the top for just a second. Exhale, open mouth, sigh it all out. And bringing hands to the heart center here. Honoring yourself and honoring your practice. Thanks for showing up on your mat, and I hope you're feeling so much better after doing this practice with me. Bow to your practice. Namaste. Join us for 14 and 30-day programs, hour-long classes, and much more on our yoga app, Yoga Plus by Psyche Truth. It's free to download and features a variety of wellness content, including yoga, fitness, Pilates, guided meditations, and interviews with dozens of wellness experts.